Good morning! We are at my parents' house for a big Sunday morning brunch with the whole family. And we have a surprise this morning. Of course, we brought the eggs and... Not sure where the sausage is from. But it's a very homemade, homegrown meal for brunch. And then we have some plans later for a salad from the garden. But, extra special, we pulled out a a frame out of our beehive that was kind of extra, it was taking up too much space. So we are going to ch taste our honey for the first time. We've had a little taste here and there, but this is going to be our first meal with our own honey. So we don't really have any special tools or anything, but we wanted to show you what... We have hands. We have hands. We have spoons. We wanted to show you what the frame looks like and... I don't know. I don't know Eat what it. I don't know what to expect. Eat it. Here we go. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is a frame out of one of our honey supers. Don't damage it too much, guys. Lick it? Yeah, lick it. So, inside, there. so there's a plastic um, sheet that had like a honeycomb pattern. You can see it here. And then the bees added their own beeswax to the top of it in, in the honeycomb pattern. And then down here you can see where they have filled the holes with honey and then put more wax over the top of the honey. It's good. Wait. So if you just break off a piece like we did... Oh. Or stick your finger straight in. Mm. Stick your finger in there the honey comes out. So I'm just going to scoop some onto my plate. I've already dished up my, my breakfast plate. I've got grits from Rockiness Farm in if Ballground. You are... I've got an e eggs from our farm and some homemade gluten-free biscuits that my mom made and some sausage and bacon. I'm pretty sure the sausage came from Carlton Farm. But I'm just going to add just a little scoop of honey onto my grits. So let's see. Wow, the, uh, the comb here yeah. is like tasteless. Are you guys just going to pick at it? Wait, is the uh, comb like, itself edible? Good. Yeah, I guess. It's kind of chewy. Like, like gum? gum? Kinda. Alright, so I'll put a little honey there. Alright, you guys, don't just sit there and pick at it. We can add it to biscuits if you want, or add it okay, to food. Alright, right, so I'm just putting a little bit on my breakfast. But then, after we eat, I'm gonna come back and scoop the rest of it off of the frame into a bowl with a strainer or something, so we can try to get the most honey out of here possible. We're done with breakfast, so now I'm gonna try to scrape the rest of this. Um, comb and honey off of the frame. Never done this before, don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm putting it into a strainer in a bowl so that it can just sort of drain out of the comb and then we'll put it in a jar after it's strained. A professional would use a centrifuge, but this was kind of a last minute surprise. So I'm just using what we had, what my mom had here in her kitchen. Yeah, we'll wait for it. I
We have strained off quite a bit of honey. I think there's m at least a cup here, probably a cup and a half. So the um, honeycomb is kind of mixed in, crushed up, mixed in with some honey. So I'll put that in a jar. I'm not sure what we're going to use that for. Ooh, maybe like a body scrub, like a sugar scrub or something. Or I could even make soap or lotion or something with it as one of the ingredients. Honey and and beeswax. Sounds like soap to me. I'm making soap next week. There you go. Yeah, I'll have to use this in my soap recipe. This is very messy. <laughs> So almost a cup of beeswax with honey mixed in. So I don't know what we'll do with this. Make soap or lotion or something. And then let's see how much actual honey we got. More than a cup and a half. It's gonna overflow. So we got a full cup and a half of honey out of that one frame. This is so exciting. I wasn't even expecting to have honey this early. I thought it wouldn't be till the fall. But I guess Michael said he needed to make room inside of that hive to, for them to lay more eggs. So. We got to get some honey early. This is so neat. So um, this is my first adventure into harvesting honey. And I didn't even have the proper tools. So next time it'll be much easier with the right stuff. So anyway, I better get back to family time with the family and get back to breakfast and help actually help do dishes. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.